That's the one that always gets to us. The forgotten actress who returns to star again. The fighter who gets up off the canvas. The rally in the ninth. We've nearly forgotten the greatest American comeback of the century because it happened so long ago. It was the comeback of a whole city. The story began at 5.12 a.m. April 18, 1906, 78 years ago tomorrow morning. Those who were there have not forgotten. As I felt the house rocking as if some giant hand had taken it uh, and just moved it back and forth with uh, diabolical purpose. And the first thing I knew, my mother coming back, this, my, my brother and I were sitting in the same bed in the, on the couch by the feet, and we pulled us up, and the whole ceiling came down. And we all gathered into my father's bedroom, screaming, frightened, and praying. While we were on our knees, my dad said, stay together, we're all going down together. And I thought that meant the end of the world. It was the worst earthquake which had ever hit the United States. It wasn't the end of the world, but in that instant, everybody thought it was the end of San Francisco. Well, it was like a crazy house. Everybody was crazy. They didn't know what they were doing, half the people. Just screaming and crying and carrying on. The whole sky was on fire. And my sister and I went up to the top of the telegraph hill to watch the, the fire, and we could see the whole city burning all in flames. We walked down Market to First Street, and from First Street on, there were no buildings left on either side of Market Street. The earthquake had uh, shaken the brick buildings out into Market Street, and then the uh, fire came along and uh, burned uh, the buildings that were left. The fire burned on for days until it burned itself out. The sudden shock and the raging fire left 490 city blocks leveled and about the same number of people dead. Over there on uh, near Telegraph Hill now was a temporary mog. And along the Union Street side of that were lines of bodies. We presume there were bodies under there, but they were all covered with cheech. And people who had lost their kin would go to a special policeman and he would walk along and raise the sheets for, so they could uh, make a possible identification. Most of the living had only the streets and the parks to live in. I'm talking about 100,000 people in the streets. The chimneys of all homes being destroyed we were obliged to eat in improvised kitchens at the street curbs, and that went on for quite some time. We've nearly forgotten it. It happened so long ago, 78 years ago tomorrow morning. Those who were there will never forget, of course. And we would like to thank Eugene Block, Olivia Granucci, Antoinette Forney, Ted Huggins, and Colonel Charles Stouffer for sharing with us their memories of the great San Francisco earthquake and fire. I said this was the story of the greatest American comeback. Of all the stunning photographs that were made in those days, my favorite is this one. A family, properly dressed, sitting down to lunch in the rubble, at a table set on a white tablecloth. I'd say the comeback of San Francisco began right here.